Hey friends, welcome back. We're in Exodus. Let's bump over into the next chapter. This is going to be 34 and verses 1 to 3, 1 to 4. Here they are. Now the Lord said to Moses, cut out for yourself two stone tablets like the former ones, and I will write on the tablets the words which were on the former tablets which you shattered. So be ready by morning and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No man is to come up with you, nor let any man be seen anywhere on the mountain. Even the flocks and the herds may not graze in the front of that mountain. So we cut out two stone tablets like the former ones, and Moses rose up early in the morning and went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and he took two stone tablets in his hand. So Moses is going up to the mountain. He's got two stone tablets. They're blank. And he's following the instructions exactly. Moses goes up now, Mount Sinai. They're still at Mount Sinai. They're getting ready to move out again. We've seen that these few days, but uh, Moses is going up. Remember the first tablets were broken at the foot of Mount Sinai when the people uh, got into the golden calf um, religious observance day. And so now they, Moses comes up again. He's got these blank pages, so to speak. And there he goes. So these are blank pages. And so what would you expect? Maybe God's going to modify those commandments a little bit. Uh, yeah, we need to give a little bit more instruction for these people so they don't slip off into idolatry again. The original Ten Commandments just didn't have quite enough on that point here. We need more text, more language to keep people from doing that crazy thing. Only no. It's going, God says, I'm going to put on them the same words that were on it before, okay? So God's going to give to Moses, he's going to write on these tablets the very same thing that was on it before, not a jot or tittle change. It's going to be all identical. God's, God says, I am the Lord, I do not change. His law is the same. His law doesn't change. Uh, every Until the heavens and earth cease to exist, Matthew chapter 5, right? Um, not one jot or one tittle will pass from the law till all is fulfilled. So God's law is there for us. It's, it's good. It's not bad. It's good. It can't save us. Uh, but here we see Moses is going to receive the law, and it's going to be good. God uh, wants his people to have in hand that law, that very law. He's not going to change a word. He's not going to change a phrase. It's all going to be just the way it was on the original tablets. Moses goes up, it's uh, in the morning, he goes up all alone, and God's going to write on those tablets. So this is going to come back into the camp, and lo and behold, it's going to be the same, the same stuff, the same stuff. Uh, no modifications, no simplifications, no added words. The, the original Ten Commandments were right, they were good, they were just fine, there was not a problem. There was no defect there, and that's one of the key things, I think, right here. Uh, people who said, well, you know, I did the golden calf thing, you know, Aaron said it was okay. Um, anybody who tries to pass that argument off, they're in trouble here because God's, they can't say, well, there was the original prohibition was, was too vague. Nobody can say that. So God writes it exactly as he wrote it the first time. And so here we have the fact that God doesn't change. His law is good. His law is, is righteous. It's right. And we need to say to the Lord, yes. And we need to go along with his commands. All right, friends, we'll carry on tomorrow morning. Let's see, watch and see what happens next.